What would you say is the one myth that most significantly distracts or demotivates women from pursuing their career development goals assertively. Let's do some myth busting today. For the best strategies to take your career to the next level, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I post new content and so you can help me let the algorithm know to show the videos to ambitious women who want to advance their career with ease and grace. I'm Christina Delasanti Miller of Full Potential Realized and I'm a career transition coach. I've helped hundreds of women to take their career beyond what they thought was possible and I use my 20 plus years of experience in Fortune 100 corporates consulting to executives, doing talent management and shaping inclusive cultures to help you understand what's going on behind the scenes and navigate that with aplomb. I think it's the likability myth that either consciously or unconsciously is operating for many or most women. And Sheryl Sandberg perpetuated it in her TED talk, which was seen by so many people. And the idea goes like this. You have Heidi Roizen and Howard Roizen. Heidi is actually a real person and Howard is a mythical person. The case study about them, venture capitalists, strong networkers, very ambitious, is given to business school students. Half of them get the same exact case study with the person's name as Heidi, the other half get Howard with the right pronouns, and how do the students evaluate this individual? Everybody thinks that the individual is competent and effective, but the person named Howard is someone you would love to hang out with, but the exact same person when it's called Heidi, that group of students that got that case study said, we don't like her, we wouldn't wanna hire her, we wouldn't wanna work with her. This, um, she says, correlates with other research that says that ambitious women are not likable or the more a woman is successful, the less she is liked versus the more the man is successful, the more he's liked. Think about it. Is that operating in your space? Because I think we have to give ourselves permission to manage our careers and to carve out time. I know that's something that it took me way late into my career to give myself permission to do and think that was okay because it was always like, oh my God, I have to be working. And I didn't see that as legitimately working because it wasn't specifically driving my deliverables, although it could have helped ease my deliverables and was another way of working. If you have this fear that if you're perceived as ambitious, you're not going to be liked, you might be putting the brakes on those efforts, again, consciously or unconsciously. So while I do think it's true that women have a narrower continuum of behaviors that work, maybe men have this amount of room to have personality traits, whereas women maybe have this, I don't know, what? Yeah, I still think that women can be successful and well-liked, and I'm gonna give you three reasons why. First reason is that in a subsequent study, which I cannot find the citation to right now, but I know I read it when it, when it came out years ago, the subsequent study pointed to the fact that the students were thinking about this person who they did not know. And they, without having a relationship with the person, cast dispersions on the woman but not on the man. Whereas when they were asked about women who were successful and ambitious that they actually had relationships with, they liked those women better. So the theory goes out the window when we get to people being related to each other and actually knowing about each other as opposed to some person that you're just thinking about that you don't really know or connect with. Second reason I invite you to give up this myth or stereotype is that while this study happened in the early 2000s, years later, Anderson Cooper had it replicated at NYU Business School this time, I think the first time it happened at Columbia, when they did the study over 10 years later, they found a very different result. More women had become secretaries of state and other leadership role models were in public view. Students who evaluated the two profiles, again, the same exact profile, but just with different names, liked them both equally or liked the woman more in that case and were fine with her attributes and leadership. Third reason to let this myth go is that the actual Heidi Roizen commented that she did not experience that level of bias in her career. And she points to having the relationships as the key underpinnings to having it all work. That having some actual substance in the relationship where you've worked together or you volunteered on something, you made something happen together, that's the thing that distinguishes the relationships that are most meaningful and powerful. So I'm curious, what do you think is the myth that's operating for many women that's doing the most damage that we can let go of? Let me know in the comments. 
replacing limited unsupportive messaging with more productive empowering messaging is one way to accelerate your advancement. Another thing you can do is to install a routine to manage your career strategically a little bit at a time week to week. And to support you with that, I'm inviting you to a weekly planning and strategy call. It's not exactly a mastermind. It has some mastermindy aspects to it, but it's a short 30 minute session. We'll do it in sprints probably of eight weeks where you outline your goal for the week inside of the strategic framework that I will provide. Talk to other women who are working on the same thing to get some energy and infusion of ideas, plan your activities for the following week. If you're interested in joining, it's fullpotentialrealized.com forward slash mastermind. I hope to see you there. For additional strategies on taking your career to the next level and getting the most out of the efforts that you put into your career, check out this playlist and give this video a like, give it a comment, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you next time.